Hello, welcome to GeoGuessr. Um, you join me in this leafy screen as I begin a no moving, scrolling, or zooming attempt. Um, you know, you can already tell from the get go that this one's doomed to fail, but I don't care particularly. Uh, I'm doing this in response to GeoGuessr Wizard putting up a video today uh, where he got a very good score on this category and uh, sort of sent out a little challenge to anyone who wanted to uh, to try and beat it. I am perfectly willing to try, although what I'm looking at right now is not filling me with confidence. Um, so what do we have here? Uh, judging by the shape of the leaves and the fact these are not full trees, these are sort of saplings, I can say that I don't know where we are. Uh, but I would say we are probably not in a northern latitude. I would not guess that we are on the equator anywhere. That puts us in, you know, roughly this part of the world, which is like all of it, if you couldn't see that. Um... What's a safe-ish guess? A safe-ish guess would be somewhere where GeoGuessr often puts you that is close to other places where GeoGuessr often puts you. Which would mean the United States. If this is the United States, it's certainly not the Great Plains. It's certainly not the, uh, the uh, Northwest. Uh, probably not Canada anywhere, honestly. Uh, maybe, maybe Ontario, but... Um, I'm going to put us just sort of Eastern. Uh, I mean, it wasn't eastern. It was northern. That's nearish to Ontario. I, I think I have a good excuse there. Uh, 2790 is better than I deserve to get on that one, honestly. But, yeah, we were just right out on this peninsula here. What is this peninsula called? I don't know. There must be a name for it. Oh, well. Next one. Okay, well, if uh, the wizard himself had gotten this one, he might be able to tell me more. This looks to be the UK, although not necessarily. And I'm looking at it a little bit longer. I think the houses look sort of like the UK, but the road doesn't look particularly UK. This this orange stripey pattern here doesn't look particularly UK. Could be Eastern Europe. These sort of wrought iron fences seem like something you might see. The color scheme of the houses, that, that's kind of a weird thing to take as a clue, but you really got to take everything you can get. Now, it is very well manicured, this, uh, this particular... Oops, didn't mean to do that. This particular yard here, and this bush as well. I think that's all in the same house, so it could just be this person has an obsession with keeping their bushes manicured. That's certainly a possibility. This house has an odd roof. I'd have to say Eastern Europe. I don't think it's the UK. I'm not positive on either of those statements, but if this is Eastern Europe, my inclination would be to go with Bulgaria. And that's a purely personal inclination based on... Um, past failures. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's look for an interesting name here. How about Lovick? Lovich? Something like that. Okay. It was Eastern Europe. It was Hungary, not Bulgaria. And we are well below the 4,000 point threshold for the uh, getting over 20,000 on no moving, scrolling, or zooming. Well, really, on any category, you have to get over 4,000 per round in order to make 20,000 points. Uh, but I'm actually pretty okay with that guess. It was not Bulgaria, it was Hungary. I was almost going to guess Romania as well. Um, and honestly, I should have because that would have been a bit safer, a bit more central in Eastern Europe area. But I don't mind that at all. Okay, well, this is Kansas. 
It's actually not Kansas though because you see all these trees in the background. That would never happen in Kansas. But it does look American to me. This dirt road is a very familiar site. I'm from Kansas if you didn't know that. Um, you can watch my other GeoGuessr episodes where I say that. Um, I don't... I think these are hay bales that have been sort of wrapped up um, in some sort of blue wrapping to keep them dry, I suppose. So one thing I know about GeoGuessr is that they love to put you in the Midwest over here. I actually find that they don't put you in sort of Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, that sort of area that much. It's a fair amount of Texas and a fair amount of like Southwest and all that, but they do like North Dakota for some reason. But typically, so typically with this sort of guess, I would say like Illinois, except that I would expect, oh, I didn't do that. You didn't see that. Uh, Illinois, that was my first guess trying to make up for my little mistake there. It was not even close, so I guess I don't have to feel bad about that. That was in Russia. Would not have guessed Russia. That looked American through and through. Wow. That was actually not Russia. That was, I'm sorry, that was Estonia. It's just right on the border with Russia. I, I didn't know they had fields like that in Estonia. I would, you know, if I saw some like tall pine trees or something, I might have guessed Estonia, but uh, what I saw looked like a dirt road in the middle of the Midwest in uh, America. I saw the trees in the background. That looked to me like it might have been further towards the Mississippi. Huh, 30 points. Well, with 6,000 points going into round four, I can say that 20,000 is firmly out of reach. But I could still get, let's see, what's the maximum I could get here? If I got a perfect score in both of these rounds, which is obviously impossible, I could get a uh, 12,000. No. 11,000. No. <laughs> Hold on. 16,000. That's 5,000 5, plus 5,000 is 10. Anyway. We don't need to talk about my math skills. What we need to talk about is this rainbow over here, uh, as, because that's the only interesting thing in frame unfortunately I don't think this is going to be a high scoring round uh, I may as well guess America honestly there's not much here suggesting to me that we could be anywhere else it was Argentina who would have thought we have one more it's bad camera it is North Dakota 100% guaranteed well, it was Colorado. I knew I wasn't going to be close on that one. Uh, I didn't know. I mean, bad camera is usually like North Dakota or like Texas, I guess. I don't know. But we did get Colorado. So I don't feel satisfied with that. And I think I want to try one more time in the same video. Um, I, I, you know, I did guess fairly quickly on that as well. Um, just with these, there's not a lot to go off of usually, so, okay, okay, we've got stuff. That says JCCC, I think, which doesn't actually tell me anything. Um, it does sort of tell me that we're in America. Well, maybe. We've got this sign right here, very American. Uh, we've got the yellow line on the road here. Fun fact, uh, yellow line indicates that if you cross that line, you will be going into opposing traffic. So they only put that on the, uh, the inside of a two-lane road. Um, I think there's some other situations where they'll put a yellow line, but uh, that's mainly what that's used to indicate. I learned that at some point. I don't know when. Um, this pedestrian bridge suggests that we are near a big enough city that there would be pedestrians to be crossing here. Um, I don't really see any signs of that civilization at the moment. I see a car and I see a house over there. So just just knowing that it's America, uh, the trees aren't really telling me anything. I think this is actually like an orchard I'm looking at over here or something. I'm gonna guess Eastern. I'm gonna guess Virginia. 
It's not a very safe guess because it could be anywhere over here. But I am going to guess Virginia. Let me increase the size of the map so you don't have to squint at it. Yeah. It was in Argentina. Okay. So I guess I got... I got fooled by the sign. I don't want to look at it again, thank you. I got fooled by the sign that looked American. Um, you know, that's the challenge of no moving, scrolling, or zooming, is that you can't... Uh, if you see a sign that looks American, you got to think America. Uh, there's no... You can't get a second source on that at all. This is, uh, this is an interesting one. This is Brazil. Um... I think the plant here it looks tropical for sure um, and if you're in a tropical place in GeoGuessr you're pretty safe to guess Brazil um, if you're in like Southeast Asia you'll see more green more palm trees this is looking like there's a lot of green there's also a lot of brown uh, foliage and such so I think I see like a like a mountain in the background as well I don't think that's too helpful although come to think of it like this all the whole thing looks pretty hilly it could be Peru nah probably not the the Andes look different I think really tough to say you really just have to go on your instinct with these sort of guesses my instinct is definitely telling me Brazil the more tropical regions of Brazil would be like up here although it sort of depends. There are interspersed throughout Brazil, there are regions of tropical climates. But this is sort of my guess. I'll guess a little further south just to hedge my bets there. And we were in Southeast Asia. We we're in Thailand. Goes to show what I know. Maybe the hills should have given it away a little bit. Brazil doesn't tend to be super hilly but what do I know all right next round uh, as soon as this loads in this looks like it's gonna be a really good round here okay I'm seeing I'm seeing Chinese characters although it could actually be Japanese um, what was it? Hiragana and Katakana? Yeah, so I think... Uh, okay. I mean, I'm also seeing English. Which doesn't tell me much, except that I think... I don't know. I think that if this was in China, they wouldn't have any English. I don't think they do that there. Whereas in Japan, I think they use more English interspersed with things. Looking at this road sign right here... I see what look to be Chinese character. They're they're more dense. They're not as sort of sparse. Although I think it's only uh, is it kanji? Kanji are the ones that are sort of mimicking Western sounds. I don't know. But then if you look over on this very edge over here, there's like there's some some symbols that look a little less Chinese, maybe a little more Japanese. But at the end of the day, that's really just guesswork. Let's look at the people. This guy right here, he looks pretty Japanese. I mean, I, you're playing Geo Guesser, there's going to be a little bit of racial stereotyping going on, right? It's, just, it's really unavoidable. I can't see too much detail in anything else. I would say the people all look fairly Japanese. It looks like pretty Western, all of this. So that's what makes me say not China. As well as it being, you know, GeoGuessr, which doesn't typically put you in China. But on this sort of, uh, I also noticed there are no arrows, so this is clearly a photosphere, um, which means it could be anywhere. Um, so this being Japan, and this being a photosphere, I'm going to guess Tokyo. It could be wrong. There are places, there are cities all over Japan. Japan is practically one big city. I mean, not really. There's a lot of countryside in Japan as well, but a lot of cities in Japan. So Tokyo, sort of a safe guess, but you never know. All right, it wasn't Tokyo. It was actually China. 
Wow. How terrible am I at this game? I swear I'm not this bad. It was in China. It was in... What is this city called? Yuzhong? Yeah. Wow. It was at the time... It was at Times Square. All right. We were in Times Square. Times Square, China. Um, yeah. You know, I don't feel bad about that, I guess. It was a tricky one. This... This is South America. Uh, Argentina, well, maybe not. The mountains, I mean, not really mountains, but the hills. Could honestly be California even. Um, vegetation doesn't give me much to go off of. Um, but I mean, I've been pretty hit or miss with the vegetation so far anyway. Fuck, I didn't do that. You didn't see that. That means I have to guess now. Alright, well, there are mountains in Argentina, and they're in this region, so I'm guessing there. Okay. It was in Peru. Clearly, my, uh, my geo-guesser, uh, muscle memory is very strong, as I just, I start scrolling around as soon as, as soon as I stop thinking about not scrolling, so. That's okay. I still, uh... Got a pretty bad score here, so I'm not really in any danger of being accused of cheating, I don't think. Uh, we got one more round. My score is 1,298, so much worse than last time. Oh, boy. I'm not recognizing these trees, which doesn't surprise me. But the road could be a pretty big hint here got so these dashed lines make me think of uh scandinavia they often have the sort of dashed lines on the edges of the road um but they don't have that on the edges it's just on this one part here so i'm not sure if that's actually a clue or if that's a red herring the trees i'm not sure are those i i don't know are they just birch or are those like eucalyptus I think eucalyptus is white bark, I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure what eucalyptus looks like. Um, could be Russia as well. The gray skies, the... I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough... This is a tough, uh, tough category. No moving, scrolling, resuming. I feel like... Russia is a pretty okay guess. And I'm tempted to guess in this sort of region. I break I break Russia down like this. Forests, uh, plains, and uh, desolation and nothingness. That's pretty much how I break down Russia. That is surprisingly good. I don't deserve 4,000 points for that guess, but what did I tell you? The regions, I I feel like I do pretty well in Russia just because of the, that breakdown that I have. Uh, but I honestly, I, I didn't even, I wasn't sure at all if that was Russia, so. All right, I got pretty lucky, honestly. It was on the road between Kalinsk, Kalininsk, sorry. And, uh, uh, let's see, Gory. Yeah. That was my final guess for that round, right? So, yeah, view summary. That one was pretty bad. On the Brazil guess, I mean, I mentioned that it could be Southeast Asia. I had my reasons to doubt that, but, you know, do so at your own risk always. So, I understand that. The Argentina one was just the side of a road. There's nothing I could do there. Um, on this one, the the Peru one, I did... I mean, I guessed the continent correctly, which I know is nothing to brag about, but, you know, I did. And then, yeah, Japan, China. Just unfortunate, that one. Um, 
you know, obviously I, I went back and forth, but, and then the Russia one, I guess I, I pretty much just got lucky. So, all right, 5,266 points, just slightly better than one perfect round. I think that's going to be it. Um, obviously not breaking any, uh, any of Geogues or Wizards records today, but I think I'll try again at some point and, uh, you know, maybe get a little more lucky, maybe get a little more, uh, get a little better at the category. Um, I'll continue doing other GeoGuessr categories as well. But uh, that's going to be it for me for this video. I'll see you around.